Today we're taking a look at a product that was sent to me by Sweet Home Chicago, and that would be the Rogers Park Shave Soap. Now the Rogers Park Shave Soap comes in a four ounce black tin with a fairly standard friction lid. The scent of this is Harchata, and it has a scent of rice pudding, vanilla, and cinnamon. Now, I do have to say that the rice pudding scent doesn't really come through for me anyway in this scent. And mostly what I'm smelling is the vanilla and cinnamon. Now, like any shave soap, you simply use a shave brush to make your lather and apply it to your face. The ingredients include coconut oil, palm oil, safflower seed oil, shea butter, purified water, sorbitol, sodium hydroxide, oat protein, a vitamin E, a fragrance, iron oxides, and beeswax. And that beeswax that's in this actually comes right from their own hives in Chicago, which I think is pretty cool because it's locally sourced. And hey, who's gonna care more about a product at the final stages than those that are caring for it at the beginning. Now from my experience using the Rogers Park Shave Soap, I have to say that the first thing that I noticed when I opened up the uh, container was the nice honeycomb pattern that was stamped into the soap. Now although this doesn't change the uh, properties of the soap any, I did notice that it helped agitate the lather a little bit while I was making it up for about the first four shaves. And basically all that that did is it took a little bit of time off of me actually having to sit there and stir the brush to get the lather that I was looking for. The second thing I noticed of course was that scent, which really isn't that strong just when you have the lid off of it. But as soon as you start making it into any type of lather, I'll tell you what, it just fills the room up with a really wonderful scent. As far as making the lather on this, I found it really difficult to not make a good lather. Whether I use just a little bit of water, which would give it a really nice, thick, small bubbled lather, or I had a soaking brush, which would make really nice, big bubbles. Now besides making the lather in the bowl, I found that all I really need to do is take a damp brush, get a little bit of soap on there, and I was able to lather up my entire face, provided that it too was a little bit wet. And it made a really nice slick shave, even without having a thick lather. And to me that's important because I don't really like using a lot of shave soap, especially when the companies don't always send me a great one like this one. So being able to just use a little bit of shave soap and really get enough lather on my face with no problem whatsoever is definitely a plus, which also means that this thing's gonna last me a lot longer. Now, no matter which way I went with the lathering, I found that it left a nice slick shave for the razor. Not only does it give that slick shave that everybody likes, but it also seems that it helped moisturize and keep my skin nice and soft well after I actually got done shaving. Overall, I have to say that it's a great option for shave soap. Like I mentioned, it's got a good shave, it's got a great scent, and the after effects of it are also pretty great. Now the cost of this does come in at $20, which I know is a couple more dollars than some of the products that I've reviewed in the past. However, I do have to say that I do think that it's worth it, especially if you're going to be lathering on your face, because that's gonna use up even less than if you lather traditionally in the container. To pick yourself up, the Rogers Park Shave Soap, or even their Killer Bee Shave Soap that I've reviewed in the past, check out the links below. And to see my thoughts on the Killer Bee Shave Soap, check out this video up here. Down below, that's gonna be one that you'll probably enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.